I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll practice how to write equation for the given piecewise function. The question for you is find formula for the given piecewise function. You can pause the video, copy the graph, write down the function and then check your answer with that of mine. Now here we have three pieces in the function, correct? So we have a piecewise function f of x which could be written as combination of three functions. One of these functions is a parabola. We'll first write the interval. It is from left side of 1, I mean left side of 1, okay? So it is when x is less than 1. So that is the parabola first function, which is a piece of this function. The second one is a line segment, which is from 1 to 3, right? So 1 to 3, so x value is actually greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 3. Since these are filled in circles, then we have the third piece here which extends to infinity from 3. So we can say x is greater than 3. So these are the three pieces. Now let's find the formula for each function from the graph. So first one is a quadratic function. What can we do about it? We know this is a vertex kind of going downwards, uh, which is at 2, right? And axis is also the y-axis. So the formula for this function could be uh, y equals 2 ax square. And since it has moved 2 units up, we can write plus 2. Some of you can start with minus ax square since this is uh, downwards, correct? But generally, we can just write a. And now the question is, let us use another point to find the value of a. So if you start with a, even then you're going to get the right answer. So I'll continue with ax square plus 2. Now we'll use this point, which is minus 2, 0, right? So we'll use the point p, let us say, which is minus 2, 0. That is to say, I'll substitute x as minus 2, y as 0. So we get 0 equals 2 a times minus 2 square plus 2 and that is this is 4 so 4a plus 2 equals to 0 we can simplify a 2 comes on this side so we get minus 2 equals to 4a and that gives us the value of a as minus 2 over 4 or minus half now that is the value of a minus half and therefore we get the function as minus half x square plus 2. You get the idea, x square plus 2. And this piece extends on the left side of 1, not including the value of 1. I hope that is absolutely clear, right? So, so we could summarize this as y equals to minus half x square plus 2, and that is our piece number 1, correct? So this is the piece number 1. Now let's find what is piece number 2. Line segment, we are given two different points. Let's identify these points. This is 3 and 5. And this point here is 1 and 3, correct? So we are looking for equation of line segment between points 1 and 3 and 3 and 5. So we have points A and B. Let's call them A and B, right? Which is 1 and 3 and B is 3 and 5. Correct. So from here, slope is equals to 5 minus 3 over 3 minus 1, which is 2 over 2, which is 1. You could actually find slope by making a triangle here also. So m is 1. Since the slope is 1, we can write equation in the form of y equals to mx plus b. m is 1. So I'm writing x plus b. To find the value of b, we'll use one of the points. 1 and 3 is a good point to use. 3 is y value. 1 is x value plus b, bringing 1 to this side, 3 minus 1 is b, or b is equals to 2. Since b is 2, we can write down the equation here as y equals to x plus 2, right? That makes sense. If you extend this line kind of, it has a y-intercept of 2, it has a slope of 1, so that works. So we can write second piece as x plus 2 third piece here is so that is the second piece right now let's see the third piece here is a horizontal line right 
horizontal line that means slope m equals to 0 and y value here is minus 3 right so y equals to minus 3 is the equation of this horizontal line so we'll replace here we'll write down y equals to minus 3 as third piece of this particular piecewise function I hope with this exercise you understand what is a piecewise function so in the domain of the function we may have more than one function combination of these will give you a piece piecewise function that's the whole idea now so we have a piecewise function here and we can combine all these equations as given here in the domain which is x less than 1 the function is like a parabola minus half x squared plus 2 in between 1 and 3 both included it is a straight line rising with a slope of 1 y intercept of 2 the equation is x plus 2 and the third piece starts from x greater than 3 it, the equation is y equals to minus 3 which is a horizontal line I'm Anil Kumar I think this makes it very clear how to write equation of a piecewise function right now as an added exercise you can always find so many other things from this uh, piecewise function domain and range are two very important things right so figure out what is domain and what is range so that's one thing which I'll leave for you so that is range this is domain and I hope that helps thank you and all the best